Hello everyone, this is the Lizard Gamer and today I'm going to show you how to fix games for Windows Live and the games that run under it because ever since 2010 there has been an update and on many systems there's been a little error because it uses a tool a part of uh, Windows which would be mainly disabled and it is disabled on most systems, not all, so not everyone has the problem. And um, then they can't run these games that will crash upon startup, crash back to desktop without an error. And that with games for Windows Live, or well, games for Windows Marketplace, if you were to enter that, it would say a current Windows component is disabled. Now I'm going to show you how to fix that. First, what we're going to do is um, go to your add, um, add and remove programs, and then we're going to go down, search down to um, Windows Live ID Sign In Assistant. What you've got to do is uninstall that, uninstall it. And um, once you've done that, reboot. And when you when you get back into Windows, um, Microsoft Games Windows Live or Marketplace, when you'll sign in, like as I'm showing right here. But now that I've fixed it, won't bring up the problem. It'll actually say, "Do you want to install Windows Live Sign In Assistance?" and you'll click yes it will download a little program you'll install it it's the newest version it would install and then um, once it's done installing then you should be able to open this and so then be able to get back into games games for windows and play your games for windows games Thank you for watching, hopefully you can have a great time playing your games. Hey, they work perfectly now. Because with the error before, it would start to load up, it would have a blank screen, and then it would crash back to the desktop because of an error with games windows. So thank you for watching.